Hello and welcome back to Learn English with NZ. I'm Max. And I'm Zoe. So, how are you doing today, Zoe? I am doing good. How about you? I am pretty well. Thanks for asking. You are welcome. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, today we are going to talk about our daily routine. And we are also going to discuss some phrasal verbs that we use every day. Okay. So what's our vocabulary preview? Our vocabulary preview is get up, set off, hang out, catch up, wind down, and turn in. Okay, but we don't just stick with these phrasal verbs during our conversation. We define any word that seems challenging to our listeners. And of course, in our recent conversation, we have a speaking exercise for our listeners. Oh, really? That sounds great. It's beneficial for both speaking and listening practice. Exactly, Zoe. All right, let's start our conversation. Okay, Zoe, tell me when you wake up in the morning. Well, I wake up every morning at five o'clock. Oh, really? So you're an early bird? Yeah, but what does early bird mean? An early bird is someone who wakes up very early in the morning. Okay, well, when do you wake up, Max? I wake up at seven, but I get up at 7.30. Well, can you explain the difference between wake up and get up? Great question, Zoe. Well, wake up means to open your eyes and not sleep anymore. But get up means to leave your bed. Oh, that's actually a great explanation. Thank you, Zoe. All right. What do you do after getting up? When I get up, I exercise and take a shower. Then I meditate for 10 minutes, which helps me stay energized and cheerful throughout the day. That sounds like a great morning routine. I'd like to try it too. It sounds great. So, how do you start your morning? Um, when I get up after a quick shower, I have a huge breakfast and then I set off to work. Great. Could you explain what does set off means? Set off means to start a journey or activity. Can you give me an example then? Sure. For example, I set off for work at 8 a.m. every morning. Thanks, Max. I also set off for work at 8 in the morning. Um, Zoe, could you tell me how many hours you work and what you do during the day? You know I'm a teacher, so I usually work six hours a day, and then at two, I'm very tired and set off for home. Great, Zoe. You used set off very well in a sentence again. Thanks, Max. Zoe, since you work six hours, do you definitely have lunch at school? No, actually. There's a very nice restaurant near the school where I go every day. That's great. Could you join me at my restaurant some days? The sandwiches at my restaurant are incomparable. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Otherwise, I would have tried it much earlier. I'm sure you are a great chef. Thanks, Zoe. My friends also say that to me. Max, then you must have an amazing lunch, right? Exactly, Zoe. What do you do after work? I usually hang out with my family because they are my only treasure. That's true, Zoe. But I live alone. I only hang out with my family on Saturdays. Um, can you tell me what hangout means? Hangout means spend time with family or friends, usually in a relaxed and an informal setting. Right. Hang out with family and friends is really good, isn't it? Exactly. When I hang out with my family, I feel good. Me too. When I hang out with my close friends or family, I feel good too. But here we have another word, catch up. Can you tell me the difference between catch up and hang out? Yes, of course. Catch up means reconnecting and chatting with someone you haven't seen in a while. For example, my friend and I have plans tonight to catch up over tea. Whereas hang out is more about spending time with friends in a casual and recreational manner without necessarily catching up on missed conversations. For example, we're planning to hang out for some fun tomorrow. Thank you, Zoe. This is really an excellent explanation. Thanks, Max. Now, can you tell me what the next word is? The next word is wind down. Wind down. Can you explain what wind down means? Exactly. Wind down means to relax or calm down, especially after a busy or stressful period. Oh, thanks. Um, now give me an example. For example, I like to wind down by reading a book before bed. Thanks, Max. And I guess you have a really busy work date, right? Yes, that's right. So, do you make time to wind down? Honestly, you know my work is demanding every day, and I don't have much free time. 
but I try to have a wind down every Sunday. That's really great because after a while of busyness and stress, wind down is very helpful. Exactly, even after a hectic day, wind down helps us relax and unwind. Yes, that's true. So, can you tell me about your nightly routine? Well, after dinner, I brush my teeth and then spend about an hour on my computer, and then I turn in. Aha! Uh -huh. Can you explain what turn in means? Turn in means going to bed. Can you give me an example? Sure. For example, I feel tired. I think tonight I need to turn in early. Thank you. Well, for now, can you tell me if you go to bed early at night or if you're a night owl? Wait, what does night owl mean? Night owl refers to someone who stays up late at night. Okay or so, I'm a night owl. Um, and that's why you also wake up late in the morning. Exactly, Zoe. What about you? I sleep early because I also wake up early in the morning. That's great. Okay, Max, our conversation ends here. So what's next? Now, it's time for practice. I'll ask listeners about their daily routines and give them 10 seconds to respond. If they need more time, they can pause the video and try. All right, let's get started. Question number one. What time do you usually wake up in the morning? Do you have breakfast before going to school, college, or work? If yes, what do you usually eat? When do you usually set off for school, college, or work? Do you have any extracurricular activities after school, college, or work? How do you usually spend your evenings? Do you have any special routines or habits you follow every day? How do you like to wind down after a busy day? And the last question, what time do you turn in? Great job. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.